What's up guys, it's Rob here and today we're going to be talking about a penny stock that has been pumping up today and is likely in my opinion to be pumping up in the near future that goes by the name of Clever Leaf Holdings, ticker symbol CLVR. This stock has been pumping up massively today, up 39% just so far on the day on some pretty impressive news and it's potentially possible that this stock could go a whole bunch higher and we're going to talk about how high we're going to break down this company, what it does and how high they could potentially go, what their underlying fundamentals look like and a bunch of other stuff related to them. Now, this is a cannabis stock, all right? This is a cannabis-based penny stock that has not been seeing too much love lately. You can see this stock has been falling pretty much for the past year, just about getting crushed. Every now and then it will pump up on cannabis-based news. And you can see that we are currently doing just that. In fact, we got news that a legalization bill is coming next week. It's going to be introduced by Senate Democrats and is potentially going to be actually turned into federal law, which would definitely be good, not just for this stock, but for a bunch of other stocks, a ton of stocks would benefit from that, this stock in particular, because of some of the fundamentals behind it. Now, you can see this stock is up about 40% on the day, 42%. It started out around a dollar. And just looking at the chart, we'll quickly analyze that and take note of the fact that, yes, it has been falling. It has in the past found support around a dollar. And that's actually where the last pump started from, from right around the dollar support level, all the way up to $4, where we topped out, found some resistance, and ended up getting pushed down from there. Now, this stock is a good stock, in my opinion, for a pump because it's such a small market cap. It's about a $55 million market cap at the moment. The outstanding shares are fairly low as well. We only have a float of 27 million shares. So all in all, a very small stock, and that's the kind of stock that retail can really impact. However, there are some potential drawbacks to this. While they are a growth stock, while their revenue has grown year over year by about 50%, they're also operating at a massive deficit. Their cash flows are looking like 35 million in the hole every year, right? They're losing about 35 million a year as of their last statement. And unfortunately, that means that if their stock price does go up massively, they might be tempted to dilute their shares to raise some capital. That's always something you have to worry about when stocks are pumping up, especially small, small market cap stocks like this that are about $50 million in size. Once those pump up a lot, the management starts to look at that like an opportunity to collect some cash for the company and actually grow the company's fundamentals. Unfortunately, that does have the negative consequence of negatively impacting the stockholders, right? Their stock price temporarily takes a dip while additional shares are being loaded off onto the market. So that is something to potentially look out for. They have been increasing their revenues. Once again, they are a growth company, right? 5.2 million is what they got in the first quarter of 2022, a 50% increase over the previous quarter of uh, 2021. And it's a potential situation that they could grow into be a big company. But in the short term, I'm more interested in them for their pump potential, right? We're currently seeing a big, big green candlestick right here that could potentially continue throughout the next couple of days. Maybe next week we might die off until we actually get the bill being introduced. But you can see that on Google Trends, we are currently actually starting to get some traction, right? We haven't actually been trending that long, but it's possible that we will continue to get a lot more attention on Google Trends. As you can see, this is a very small market cap stock. Not a ton of people are interested in it. Not too many people are actually looking into this stock most of the time. But right now, we're actually starting to peak out. And I expect that we'll have some people remaining in this stock and continuing to be interested in it. And potentially, we'll even start to see this stock getting listed on the trending page of stock twits and maybe even the most active page if we really see it run for a couple of days because it does have some significant potential. I mean, it's been running most of the day pretty steadily. There haven't been too many significant pullbacks. And you can see that once again, the main thing that's so uh, valuable about this stock is the low, low market cap. That means that retail can actually move this stock even though the overall market has been looking uh, not too good over the past year, wiping out a lot of retail accounts. A lot of retail traders are low on cash, and so you need a lower market cap stock that you can actually affect if you're interested in pumping up a retail stock. So that's what we've got in terms of Cleverleaf, ticker symbol CLVR. It is a stock that I was holding before this pump. It's a stock I'll continue to hold throughout the course of the pump, and we'll probably try to sell at some kind of peak after the actual bill has been introduced during the hype. That's my strategy for it. I'll continue updating you guys on this stock. If you're interested in it, feel free to let me know you're interested by hitting the like button or commenting down below. And if you want more coverage, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. And other than that, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Keep in mind that if this is financial advice, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.